in the previous tutorial we have learned how to create walls and how to create door now in this tutorial we will learn how to create windows link to previous tutorials is given in the description and it will also be shown in the upper right corner of your video now the window width is 1200 and we know that wall thickness is 300 therefore we will create one rectangle of 1200 by 300 at first we will create horizontal rectangle click on rectangle give first point take your cursor away then type the width of 1200 comma 300 and press enter and press spacebar then zoom here then double click on this line so that it will select the rectangle double click on this line then right click and select make group now you can see that this group has been created then to edit this group you will have to double click on it now you are in group editing mode all the other objects are grey now we want to create two horizontal lines here for that we will divide this line in three segments click on this line then right click and select divide then move your mouse once it shows three segments click there or you can also type three and press enter i will click here once it shows the three segment click then we will create horizontal lines click on line then take this end point and this point on edge again this end point and on this midpoint then press spacebar and click outside so you are back in regular mode then we will place this window we want to place it here click on move now we will place this window with respect to midpoint of this object click on this midpoint and then place it at this midpoint of this horizontal line and to create the copy press control so it will create copy press control and click so it has created the copy same way we need window here pan it zoom it now here we will place at the midpoint of this horizontal line therefore we will select this bottom midpoint click on this bottom midpoint and before clicking on this midpoint press ctrl and click so that it will create the copy then we need to place this window at this position and we need it to be vertical we will rotate this window right now move command is still active take your cursor on this plus sign click and once it becomes vertical and angle is shown as 90 click there then again we will place window here now we will place with respect to midpoint of this vertical line therefore we will click here on the midpoint on this side and press ctrl and click here on this midpoint again select this midpoint ctrl this midpoint then we need to place it here for that again we will actually take the midpoint of this line therefore we will select on midpoint of this line click now we don't need to copy so we will not press the control and we will click here on the midpoint and press spacebar to stop the move command these windows has been placed then next is the smaller windows of 500 size 
will create them vertical directly zoom here take the rectangle command give first point take your cursor above now our width will be 300 type 300 comma 500 and enter then press spacebar then to create the group double click on any one line then right click and click on make group then to edit the group double click on any one line then select this line right click and click on divide then move your mouse and once it shows three segments click there then again create one line click on lines take your cursor to the end point and click on edge then zoom it now we need these lines to be hidden for that again we will divide this line press spacebar select this line right click and divide then we will create 11 segment we will create odd so that a line will remain at both the ends so i will just key in 11 here and press enter then i will delete alternate segments select the segment and press delete button on the keyboard so that it will create hidden lines like this then I want same hidden line on this side also for that I will select this hidden line press first mouse button and drag the mouse and release the mouse then click on move then take this endpoint and take it to this point and press control and click then press spacebar and click outside so this window is also ready then we will move it pan it click on move and we will place it at the mid of this line therefore we will take midpoint on this side click on this midpoint and take your cursor here press ctrl and click again take your cursor here on midpoint and click on this middle point press spacebar zoom fit so all the windows has been placed in the next lecture we will learn how to transfer this drawing to layout and then how to place the text and dimension and we are also going to use this plan to create 3d house that also we will learn in the coming days thanks for watching we will stop here.